There are a lot of questions about the optimal number of fasts per year and in terms of what is the optimal frequency and duration and things like that. Doesn't say, obviously, we don't have a concrete answer on that stuff, but is there something that you you think is likely to provide benefit as far as if you're going to do a one-week fast once a year? Man, depends on the person. I, 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 I wish, I wish, I wish I knew. I, I would say the following, and this is 100% speculation, so it's, it's just it's, you've got to be able to sort of take it with that. I'm convinced that an important tenet of longevity is exposure to nutrient cycling. What that does is autophagy up and down, anabolism, catabolism, mTOR up, mTOR down. I, I think if you want to live long, those things have to be happening. So I don't think that doing a seven day fast once a year and for the other 51 weeks of the year, just eating like shit is going to do that much. It's probably better than just eating like shit 52 weeks a year, but I don't know if it's enough to move the needle. I mean, I don't know. Again, I I have a sense of what we would have to be able to measure to at least directionally answer that question, but we don't know. Because I don't think the answer to that question can be addressed through standard blood draws or, you know, scans or things like that. I mean, these are cellular questions. So... There's probably a little bit of the frequency of the fast might be a function of the damage you do off the fast, if that makes sense. I think it does. The worse you want to behave when you are not fasting, it might be that you need to fast more frequently. The better you want to behave. So so if someone said to me, hey, you know, if Dom said, hey, Peter, I'm going to go on a ketogenic diet, you know, completely strict, super clean, whatever. And it doesn't have to be keto. I'm just using that because Dom's on a ketogenic diet all the time. And once a year, I'm going to do a seven or 10 day fast. Is it adding value? My guess is, yeah, it's probably adding value because he doesn't have that much damage to undo. And he's using that week just mainly as a way to really shut down Tor. But if, you know, someone says to me, look, man, I'm a burger and fry guy. What, but I'm willing to not eat at certain points in time, what should I do? Then the answer is, I, you know, maybe do time-restricted feeding as a way to minimize the damage of the burger and fry, and then maybe do these fasts more frequently. Um, and then, then but, but again, you can see I'm, I'm it's, it's just, I don't know. Yeah. I think it makes intuitive sense too that Longo pointed this out. I'll probably, I'll probably butcher the, the idea or the protocol, but I'll hopefully get the gist, which is, not just how bad is like he I think he advocates for essentially more or less it it rhymes with a reasonable diet where you're cutting out refined grains, carbohydrates, sugars, et cetera, but it really what state are you in i think he he asked that question as well are you are you diabetic are you hyperinsulinemic do you have metabolic syndrome all these different things and if if you're in a relatively poor state, I think he advocates for doing more f m d s you know, doing them more frequently. And as you get to a, a, a better state, a leaner state, then maybe you can get away with doing fewer FMDs in terms of optimizing your health. Sounds sort of similar to that. Yeah. I, again, I, I I can't tell you how much I want to, you know, help generate or be a part of generating some of these tools so we can actually start to look at trade-off and, and, and start to figure out like what's the What's the gain? You know, how much how much incremental benefit do you get by increasing the frequency of the fast? I mean, I don't even know when I'm going to do the next one of these. I mean, I sort of directionally came up with a protocol that said, look, this should be done every quarter. You do the uh, the KFK sandwich per quarter, and then that gives you you know 13 weeks to a quarter. So you do that for three weeks, and then you've got 10 weeks of going back to relatively clean, time restricted feeding. Okay, cool. That's probably better than you know eating normally, but all right. Is it overkill? Is it is it enough? Uh, drives me nuts not to know that. But I'm really not interested in talking about it that much more because I don't think I'm going to learn anything more just by sort of imagining what it could or couldn't be. I think I think we just we just have to go after some of these cellular assays that can measure metabolic, as I said, proteomic and other molecular markers or signatures of of what we believe is happening in these states. Right. 